Welcome to another edition of Tips from the Lathe Cave. From deep inside the Lathe Cave in southwest Michigan, this is the Viper. Today we're going to talk about high speed steel tooling. Most of us are familiar with the high speed steel tool blank, and after buying the blank, we then have to grind it to a particular configuration for the specific cutting application we need on the lathe. In order to grind the tool properly, you must have some knowledge of positive and negative angles, specific relief cuts, and radiuses. Make no mistake about it, this is an art. A skilled machinist can produce a hand ground cutting tool in minutes, and some can even regrind it when it gets dull to the same angles. At best, you'll be able to turn metal and get a decent finish. At worst, it can be a nightmare for the home hobbyist. Most of us use indexable tooling of some kind. Now these are two that I happen to use, just two. Until recently, most of the inserts we buy have been carbide. Well, carbide's tough and it handles heat very well, especially if you use coolant, and you get good finishes at high speed. The downside to using carbide inserts is that for the quality inserts, they are very expensive. And when they chip, you can't just resharpen them. At the lower speeds, the finish isn't all that good either. I personally turn a great deal of aluminum and even with a coolant system running the aluminum tends to build up on the cutting edge of my carbide inserts and when I try to scrape the build up off the carbide chips. For over a year now I've been testing and using high speed steel inserts from the Arthur R. Warner Company located in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Here I'm going to show you a few of these. They come in all sorts of shapes and sizes and configurations. They even make a high-speed steel threading insert. These inserts are made from T15 steel. It's the highest grade tooling steel and it handles wear and heat resistance much better than the common M2 steel. They have a Rockwell hardness of 65 to 67 and I've personally found it nearly impossible to ruin an insert unless you crash the lathe. And of course none of us are ever going to admit to doing that. I've tested these inserts on everything from cast iron to stainless steel and always get a superior finish at low speeds over carbide. Now earlier I talked about regrinding a tool blank to resharpen it. One of the nicest features of these high speed steel inserts is the ability to resharpen them in seconds without a grinder. Just a few drops of oil on the whetstone turn the insert face down and press down while moving the insert in a circular motion. You never have to grind the sides. The radius and the relief angles are always maintained and in seconds the insert is as sharp or sharper than it was originally. Not having to use the grinder can be a real blessing some days. They also make 26 different tooling kits. This one happens to be my thread uh, tool holder. Uh, it's a half inch uh, bar stock and they've got a stand up threader on one end and an internal threading tool on the other end so you get two tools in one. It also comes with a grooving tool, a grooving insert. And the grooving insert I use for uh, grooving the outside uh, diameter of, of tooling uh, bars so that I can use O-rings or snap rings. The kit also comes with all the wrenches that you possibly need to change the inserts and uh, the kit's ready to go right out of the box. When you contact the Warner Tool Company, ask for Mike and tell him that the Viper sent you. From deep inside the lathe cave in southwest Michigan, this has been the Viper.